Hello all, welcome back. Let's go ahead and keep on going with our body. Right now we're in uh, part four and what I think we need to start doing is start looking at uh, getting our legs put in here. I'm just going to grab those edges and uh, pull those in a little bit more. And kind of start uh, getting these set up for legs. Okay. Rounding out the behind a little bit. actually go, oh, no, it's not, I was going to say let's go to the side, but I'm not going to. I am going to, however, start shaping the behind a little bit better. And there we go. rounding out a little bit, adding a little bit better shape. And you can see in here that uh, it starts doing, making the crotch kind of odd. And well, we have some interior face, so let's go ahead and get rid of those right now. X faces, there we go. Okay, well, basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna delete a bunch of these. X faces. There we go. Now let's get back into these vertices <coughs> and adjust them a little bit. Okay. I'm doing some thinking while I'm looking at it. <coughs> uh, generally, the butt's a little bit lower in the back. The crotch might be a little bit higher in the front. And we don't have a whole lot going on with our with our hips and our stomach and that does look like it's a bit high to me so another major tweaking session. Let's rotate that on X. And let's pull it up on Z. Okay, and that's kind of broad, so no pun intended. This is going to be kind of like the lower abs a little bit. <coughs> so that looks a little bit better to me. Pull that up and that as well take that in, in and up. Using the inside to really look at what's going on. Okay.
Alright. Okay. I'm alright. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and alt right mouse button to select that loop. And <clears throat> let's go to the front. I'm going to shift D, copy it, and pull it down. I'm going to scale that down on Z a little bit. And let's extrude it straight down. I'm taking it in right there. And I'm going to scale it in a little bit more. W smooth. Do that a couple times. And we are going to use the leg here. I'm just trying to get uh, look at what we've got. Let's go to the front again. G, grab move, take that in. Actually, let's take it in this way. Take this one out. Take this one out. Okay, that'll give us our dip right there where the hamstring pops out. And we'll let the interpolation right there handle that area. I don't know what I have selected. Yes, I do. Okay. Okay. Just uh, watching what we've got. Okay. Let's go to the side. <clears throat> Pull that forward. Pull this back. If that's the right one. Nope. Go back to the side. Let's pull that forward. This one forward to about there. Let's turn off uh, the culling. Turn back on. <clears throat> now we may end up needing another division in here. Or not. I just basically moved the vertices from how they line up so um, and that's kind of a bad thing on my part let's take this back and we're going to have to rethink the situation a little bit pull this one forward pull this one forward oops don't split that G Okay. So let's go ahead and go to edges and let's just form these up like we did with the arm. It'll just help us to see a little bit better. Let's go to the inside. We should have done the inside first. But it's control up arrow to get out of that window. Or not out of it, but <clears throat> back to where we can see this window. I'm going to go ahead and um, just delete the mirror so we can see in here. Could have seen that one from the front, but this one would have been hard. So, <clears throat> I am going to get kind of funny with these right in here. And, whoops, somehow. I did this wrong. F. There we go. Let's go ahead and just mess up those faces. Pull those out a little bit. Let's look at that from the side. Okay. Just trying to look at these. Pull this one out. Let's go to vertices. Interpolating these up a little bit. Not like literally, not vertically up, but just shaping it up. Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> All right. may end up putting another division in right there. But I don't want it to go all the way up um, like that, so I'll probably do something to adjust the loop in here. But not right now, I need to get back to the legs. So let's alt right mouse button on those and go to the side. Let's just extrude that down to about there and scale it in. W smooth a whole bunch of times. We have a button here we could use if you're not as lazy as me. Okay. I want to make sure it's kind of round. Let's pull it in. And this one where it dips out, <coughs> I want to actually pull that one out to meet up with that. Let's start getting uh, some of this knee and some of the thigh. Yeah, we'll just leave that. Let's go ahead and add a division right here. kind of trying to grab the ones in the back. Pull them out a little bit. Whoops, undo that. This is a little bit too far out. Okay, let's take this one up. We may end up needing another division right there. Okay, take that one back a little bit. Let's undo that. Let's go to the side, pull those out drastically. Interplating these a bunch right here because they need uh, they need some love to be quite honest. There we go. Okay. 